Uh, yeah, well, I mean, before I get started, first, I just, you know, I want to thank God. Um, you know, this is something that we all dream of as kids, being able to get to this position and being able to, uh, you know, know that our family is set and our life is set and stuff like that. But, I mean, for me, um, words can't even explain how I feel. I mean, I love this organization. Uh, Pete, John, everybody's been so amazing to me. Um, with the way that they bring a lot of people here to be able to help us on the mental side, on the physical side, everything that I need has been here. They traded picks to come and get me. They showed me that they wanted me here. Uh, from what I know in the draft, they were the only team that told me I could do both returns and play receiver. And, you know, they have allowed me to grow as a person and they also allowed me to develop into a receiver that I'm continuing to be every single day. And, um, it, you know, we're in a business, so it's hard for businesses to be able to to extend people and the fact that they were willing to give me an extension because they see me in their future um, I mean that says a lot and you know they've given me all of them and each and every day you know I'm giving all of me I'm giving whatever I can to be able to help this team win to be able to help this team be successful and to be able to help every single player on our team reach their potential you had the broken leg you were still young in your career but did you have a doubt when you stayed in that time? no um if anything, you know, when I broke my leg, the first question I asked was, can I still play football? And, you know, I realized that at that moment, uh, if I couldn't play anymore, there were so many regrets I would have had, so many things that I focused on that I shouldn't even focused on or even thought about. I should have just came out here and enjoyed playing football. And, you know, like I said, the fact that we had amazing athletic trainers to be able to get me to go pack, come, to come back out there and to be able to play with the injury that I had, uh, they were there with me the whole year, getting me right to be able to play, even though, you know, I told you what percentage and stuff that I was at. But, you know, like I said, I still went out there and fulfilled the role that I was given. And, um, you know, whether my role changes or not, you know, I'm here to do whatever it is that they want me to do. Pete said, you know, you've, you've exemplified everything that we want in a Seahawks player. And we don't want you to be any different. We don't want you to change. We want you to continue being the person that you are because being a person that you are is why we want you to stay here. When did you feel like you were back to full speed? Uh, when I got back to OTAs or the kickoff return when I scored. Uh, I think at that moment I, kinda, I knew I was back. I was feeling great going into that week when we played against the Cardinals. And when um, they kicked it off and I ran past Pat P, <laughs> that's when I realized I was kind of back. And, you know, I just kind of played off of that, you know, that energy and that hypeness coming back for OTAs, being able to get myself back right. And ever since then, you know, I've been doing a lot better. How much pride do you take in the fact that you were on the field for 16 games last year, given the injury that you were coming back from? Uh, I think a lot. You know, I think. You know, you just learn a lot. Um, you know, even coming back, sometimes you get caught up in what a lot of people say and how they feel about you. Like I said, you know, uh, even getting caught up in how people said your seasons and stuff was. But uh, you just got to do a lot of self-talking and, and tell yourself, like, man, you did so many great things that not too many people would have been able to do. You know, um, a lot of people give up when, when bad things happen or when it seems like they can't be the best person that they can be. And they don't understand the development when bad things happen, it strengthens you and allows you to be um, even stronger and even farther in life than you can be. And so uh, for me, you know, something like that, it helped me grow. It helped me understand that if I could go through that, I can go through a lot of other stuff. And, you know, you start to learn like the mental side of it is, is the most important part. That's the side that once you get your mental part, everything else plays a role in it and it'll get so much better. But, you know, for me, uh, breaking my leg really did help me out. Did, uh, is this something that you've been thinking about at all for the last month? I mean, is it nice to have it over or is something? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, that stuff is stressful. <laughs> like, you know, you get anxious, you know, all that type of stuff. Um, sometimes it's hard to sleep. Like, you know, it's just a lot because, you know, this is the day that you wait for. But, you know, when it finally passes, you can finally breathe. But you also know that there's life outside of this. It's not like this was the end goal and now you stop here. This is just another monumental moment and you just keep on going and keep progressing through life. And um, like I said, you know, I'm happy. You know, my mom's coming in here today. So, you know, I could be able to spend time with my mom. I already told my family and I'm sure everybody else knows. But, you know, I'm just, I just know that that part is taken care of, but that's not the part that I played for in the, in the beginning. It was my faith. It was things like that. And so that's the thing that I'm kind of focusing on and, and getting back to and not really worrying about the noise on the outside, but just being happy with my life, uh, being the best person that I'm, I know that I can be 
And now that I know that's taken care of, that's something I don't have to ever worry about again. Have you signed it yet, then? Yeah, I already yeah. signed it. Yeah. You're really happy when, when Paul got paid. Uh, he, has he reached out yet? Since he uh, yeah, I, I mean, I talked to Paul. Um, Paul was one of the first people I told before I even signed it, you know, after family and stuff. And uh, I didn't give him the details or anything because I went to sleep. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm sure, you know, he probably just texted me not too long ago. And, you know, I probably talked to him a little after. But, you know, Paul's my best friend, man. And, you know, it sucks that he's gone, but I'm happy that everything worked out for him. Talk about me breaking my leg. He went through a, a whole bunch of stuff. And the fact that, you know, he came out, you know, he played um, two full seasons and was able to go out there, play for the Redskins and get what he could get. You know, you can't do nothing but be happy for him. You know, he he's like my brother. I think I'm older than him, but he, somehow I'm the little brother. But, you know, I talk to him about once or twice a week, man. And, uh, you know, we talked about this all the time, and I'm just happy that he got his taken care of. I got mine taken care of, but like I said, it's more work to be done. Being one of the more like veteran receivers in this on this team right now, um, what have you seen out of some of the young guys, and kind of has your role changed at all working with them? Uh, yeah, just being able to open up more, um, be there for them more, talk to them more, you know, help them relax more. Uh, you know, a lot of the guys, like I said, everybody stands up. You know, somebody's standing up and they they do so many good things every single day it's hard not to name everybody uh two of the people that i've grown close with was keenan reynolds and also um marcus and you know those were the two people i enjoyed watching in practice they was doing something every day that was killing people routing people up making tough catches uh, marcus was scoring almost every day in the red zone and you know i was i was happy to finally see it put into action in the games so that um, everybody can see it, you know, because you never know what's going to happen here and you want the best for everybody. And that's the hardest part is we create this bond in, this, in our room and a bond that can't be broken. But the only way that that bond is going to be lost is if they don't make the team. And so, you know, it's hard, but we want everybody to make it. Unfortunately, they can't. But there's a lot of guys that's been stepping up. You seen what Cyril Grayson did last game. Uh, or was it was it Minnesota or what he I mean he made that big fourth down catch and even before that you know what he did whenever we played the Chargers and stuff so I mean it's so many great things that everybody's doing Malik scored that touchdown against the Chargers I'm just glad we don't make the decision who stays and who doesn't Tyler following up on that like you said not everyone is going to make this roster um and but what opportunities do they have in this game to show what they have for the coaching staff and the other people in the league? yeah I mean you know they got a big opportunity to be able to show every single team what it is that they can do um you know it's 31 teams that's watching besides us and they want to see everything that you do on film and everything that you put on film matters uh if you take off a play hey you, you might be done playing you never know but being on a team in camp and otas it just gives you an opportunity to show everybody else what you're capable of doing and what you can end up being in their system and i think that's really what it's about you can't get caught up on trying to make just that one team but you got to be able to put on a performance for everybody because you're still in a job interview process um from when you come out of draft or um when you're in otas and even when you're in camp you're interviewing for this team during that time but when it comes to the game film you're interviewing for every single team around you and if you want to stay in this game and play then you got to be able to put wins on film that's all you can control you can't control getting targets you can't control catching interceptions all you can control is putting wins on film and doing your job Anything else, guys? Thanks, Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one.